Hey, what's going on y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can photo scan something from the real world and bring it into Fortnite Creative 2.0. Let's get started. All right, so let's open up the Luma AI app and let's click on new capture. Yes, you can access the camera. Now it's going to say move crosshair to the center of the object. So I'm going to back up some and I'm going to go ahead and tap the center. And it's going to ask me to go to the opposite side and tap it again. Might have to increase this right here as well. I don't have to be, I don't have to be like that big. That's good. Okay, and then let's say confirm. Now we're going to have three different lines right here. You're going to see we have a top one middle one and the bottom one all we have to do now is just move our camera and that's going to guide the app we're just going to go around slowly so once you complete one loop it's going to disappear the line's going to disappear so you just work on the next ones So since I don't have Wi-Fi right now, I'm just going to say later, and then when we get home, I'm just going to say upload. Okay, so once it's done processing, I'm going to click on this little icon right here, and I'm going to pretty much just take a look and see how it looks, which is looking pretty good. Additionally, if I scroll up right here, we're going to be able to actually export this into an OBJ. And we'll go with high poly diffuse. Exported 3D files do not currently carry defendant effects like reflections. That's okay. So we'll proceed. All right. So what I'm going to do here is just upload it to my Google Drive and then download it on my computer. Okay. So the next thing we're going to be doing in this process is downloading Blender. Blender is for free. You don't have to pay a dime for this software right here. And I'm just gonna open that up. Whenever I do photo scan stuff, I usually like to take it to Blender first to clean it up a little bit. So with that being said, let's import that OBJ that we exported out of Luma AI. If you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my Unreal Engine 5 courses on ArtStation, Udemy, or Gumroad. So this right here is the OBJ that we exported out of Luma AI. I'm gonna right click, extract files, and I'll say okay. That's gonna give us a folder, so that's good. And now in Blender, I'm gonna go to File, import wavefront obj and i'm going to find that if i can right here textured and you're going to see an obj file right here we'll just import that now depending on your computer this might take a minute so i'm just going to sit here all right so we have our mesh in there i will delete the useless cube and the useless camera i'm going to zoom in with my mouse click my middle mouse and then move around if I click this mesh and go to this toolbar and go to statistics, you're going to see that we downloaded an almost 1 million triangle mesh. So if your computer is crappy, I would not get the high poly one, just get the medium one or even just the small one. Uh, with that being said, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to object mode and I'm going to say edit because I want to get rid of these two little small ones right here. I'm going to hold Z on my keyboard and change it to wireframe. And I'm going to just highlight these. Hold shift, highlight that, and then delete, vertice. Now you can clean this up a little bit more if you want to, but for the sake of this video right here, since this is beginner friendly, I'm just gonna go back to edit, go to object mode, and I'll just delete my light. Hold Z again, we'll go back to the solid view right here, and then I'm gonna select the mesh, file, export, FBX now, and I'm gonna create a new folder, exported. Double click that, I'm just gonna say mesh here, I don't have to worry about animation. And then right here in path mode, I'm going to say copy. Export that FBX. And then what we'll do is open up Unreal Engine Editor for Fortnite. Okay, so here we are in my level in Fortnite. I've been making tutorials in. And what we'll do is I'll create a new folder here. Right click, new folder. And I'll title this DJ. And then what we'll do is go back to that folder. And then in the folder, you're going to find we have now an exported folder. And I can just rename this to DJ Rock. And I will now drag and drop this into the content browser. Now, again, you can do this in regular Unreal Engine 5 as well. Not just Unreal Editor for Fortnite, okay? So I'll minimize this. 
Now we're going to get this pop-up. I'm just going to say import. And now this is going to import our FBX mesh. Okay, so now it's imported. I'm going to clear this out, exit this out. And now if I double-click our mesh, our static mesh, it's going to take a second. And boom, our rocks. Tutorial is done. Now, obviously, we could get some more improvements on this, hopefully, because if you look at the textures, the materials right here, we don't really have any normal map. Now, you can create one yourself using Photoshop or something like that. Um, but I'm hoping that Luma AI, I'm going to send this video to them. Hopefully, they'll add more textures later on. And just like that, ladies and gents, we brought in our rocks from the real world to Fortnite Creative or Unreal Engine. Like I mentioned earlier, say I sell rocks, right? I can scan my rocks. People collect rocks, all right? I can scan my rocks, create a level with my rocks, and then publish it, and now give that code to my potential buyers and advertise it, put it on, you know, put it on cars and imagine all, put it on billboards, whatever. Now people can go in my level and take a look at the rocks that I have for sale. This is what I'm talking about when I say that Fortnite Creative 2.0 is much bigger. Replicated multiplayer up to 100 players. They can check out this level right now and take a look at this rock. Now, with that being said, that's all I got for y'all in this video. If you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Unreal Engine 5 tutorials or Unreal Editor for Fortnite tutorials. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.